Good morning, you guys. I have a brand new setup here, so if you can't hear me, please let me know. I want to know that I can hear you and that you can see me okay. I have, um, I have a different microphone. I have a different camera. I have a whole different setup here. So I want to make sure that, you know, that you can hear me because I don't want to stand here and just talk to myself because that would be boring. Morning, Joyce. Can you hear me okay? Is my mic sound good? This is a whole different setup. So I want to make sure that you guys can hear me. So I can I see lots of good mornings. Awesome! Yay! Yay, Michelle! I have this new camera, you guys. Look. You can see my whole kitchen. And I can actually I can actually set it so you can see all the way around, but I'm not gonna do that because it would be like this little me in the middle and then all the kitchen. But look, I can take this with me. I can bring it over here. I can bring it over there. See, this is very cool. Anyway, I'll set it down so you don't all get sick to your stomachs. So, all right, I'm on a laptop this morning. I got a new laptop. Whew. All right, let's give this a go. So let's see if I can avoid. So what's the smartest thing for somebody who spills their breakfast stuff everywhere to do? is to get a Apple computer and sit it on the counter right in front of where she's cooking. I was thinking maybe I should probably like cover it with a little towel or something like that. <laughs> oh gosh, all right, yeah, I know Sarah, it's getting real in here with the fancy camera and stuff. My phone, it's the phone when I go live on um, Facebook and then I upload it to YouTube with this little tiny thing. It's this little tiny screen and I wanted to get full screen. So that's what I did. So, all right, you guys, I'm going to make breakfast stuffed peppers. So this weekend I took my planner, I wrote down everything that I planned on making for the next, you know, 12 videos or so, so I should hopefully have a better idea. I won't be looking at 5 o'clock in the morning. What am I going to make for breakfast? I think I know. Oh, Joyce, I'm sorry you didn't feel good. Malto meal won't kill you once in a while. It's okay, but stick back to it. You can make, um, what's the cream of treat? If you like that, um, if you like Malto meal, you probably like cream of treat. I was thinking of the same thing, Mary. Oh, I'm so glad it's clear and good, and I'm using this new app that I have called Facebook Producer. <laughs> and it's working complicated. All right, or at least it is for me. So I got all my ingredients out like a good girl this morning, but I didn't put my air fryer together like an idiot. So let me slot that in there, my air fryer, because I'm going to stuff these peppers and then I'm going to air fry them. And I think it sounds delightful. All right, get out a pan. So I am going to, I need a bigger pan than that. I was down a pound this morning. I love a Monday morning when you get on the scale and you are down a pound. There is nothing better on a Monday morning than being down a pound. 41, 41, it's coming off guys, it's coming off. All right, I don't need cooking spray. So I'm gonna scramble up some eggs and some sausage. I got some turkey sausage that I found. Oh my gosh. It even shows on my camera, it's not flipped, like backwards. Can you actually see my shirt saying it not backwards? What? This is cool. All right, anyway, sorry. Distracted by awesome technology. <laughs> 
Um, anyway, turkey sausage that I found all cooked. And any preserved meat like this, pre-cooked meat, as long as it's two grams of um, sugars or less, you're good to go. And this one is, so turkey sausage. And um, you could use eggs in this because this is going to be an S, so you could use whole eggs. But because I'm already going to have cheese and sausage in it, I figured I'm not going to taste the fact that it has egg white versus whole eggs so why bother just doing whole eggs if I can do egg whites I, I'm lightening it up because I can it's not going to taste any different with just egg whites and it lightens it up some so so my kitchen is backwards to the way you normally picture it this shows well what's funny is even though this looks forward it shows that my stove or my whatever that is called sink is to my left but really it's to my right wait no it isn't that's my left this is my right it is to my left wait it shows to my right oh, i'm so confused i don't know i don't know if i stand here my sink is to my left my my oven's to my right <laughs> it's over my head all right i'm just gonna cook up some of these eggs and probably, I don't know, maybe half a cup. I can have a decent amount. It's just egg white. There's like a calorie in the whole bottle. There's 25 calories in one serving. Whoopee dang. And I know we don't count calories, but I like to, I just peek sometimes. I just like to peek. But I don't worry about it. I don't worry about it. When I went to Five Guys Saturday night, it said 700 calories for the burger I was getting. That's without the bun. And I'm okay with it. It's all right because it don't matter. We don't count calories. We don't abuse them, but you don't need to count them. All right. Scramble up some egg. All I'm literally going to do is scramble up some <laughs> Lori, yes. So turkey sausage is okay because it tastes like sausage, but turkey bacon does not taste like bacon because it's not bacon. Bacon is sacred. You don't mess with the bacon. <laughs> I think your hair would look great with highlights. It's got lots of natural highlights. <laughs> this is the first time in many years, Joyce, that my hair has been, has actually been its natural color. Like this is normal for me. I, I've always had colored hair since probably 16. I've been coloring my hair. I really like to have, um, red hair uh, like auburn is my thing and now that my hair is growing back out again i was thinking about coloring it not necessarily auburn but putting some dark some brown back into it but i don't know it's all natural right now and it's so nice to not have to keep up with it and i don't really look great with blonde like blonde or caramel highlights i've been there done that and it does not look that great on me it washes me out big time. Oh, you know what? Now's a good time to put in some seasonings, obviously, before that egg is all cooked. I'm going to put Creole. If you guys don't have this in your house, go buy it. I'm going to buy the salt-free one, but this stuff right here is everything. I, it's spicy. I mean, mildly. It's not super hot, but I absolutely adore it. All right, my egg is cooked, and I should have put my sausage in there with it because I don't want overcooked eggs. I hate overcooked eggs. I hate them, hate them, hate them. So let me put let me put my egg whites. I got a whole bunch of them. Yum. I love how non-stick pan, like these 
Hands. Okay, th so they're the ninja never stick. <laughs> so technically, isn't that not supposed to stick since they're called never stick? But they still, the good thing about these, even though they're never stick, is this will wipe right out easily. So it's not like a normal nonstick pan. See how easy it comes off? I'm not hardly scraping it, and it's a rubber spatula. But it still makes me laugh. They're so fantastic, and I love them very much. All right, I have my burner going that whole time. Really, I don't know. Isn't it so I haven't, Tracy? I was going to do it yesterday, and then I got tied up in some stuff and couldn't do it with her. I was going to have a taste test, so I still have my ugly cucumber right here, and I have to do it. i got to do it before it gets mushy. It's still nice and crisp. Ugh. Somebody said to put salt, pepper, lime juice, and tahine, or tajine, I don't know how you pronounce it, tahine seasoning on it. So I guess that's what I'm gonna do. All right, where's my peppers? And I want some avocado. I put my peppers. I've got some sweet baby peppers. You guys, I bought this bag at Sam's Club because Amy Gaskin, she's one of the coaches. She is sweet. Uh, sweet and healthy. She is sweet. That's why I thought it was called sweet and healthy. She's Southern and healthy coaching. And she is forever posting videos or pictures of her eating sweet peppers stuffed with like chicken salad or tuna. And I hate raw peppers, but every time she does it, my mouth waters. So last week I made tuna with jalapeno and, and mayo, stuffed pepper, stuffed it in the peppers and ate them, and I flippin' loved them. So it just goes to show, if you're just starting to trim healthy and you're like, I hate vegetables, I hate them. I agree, you probably do, but you know what? Give it some time, girl. I want a bigger one, and you will be loving them because I never in a million years would have seen myself eating these things, ever. I don't even like the smell of them, even still. There really isn't much cooking that needs to be done to that sausage. I don't even, I'm just making, I'm warming it up just to get it hot. <laughs> I know, Carrie hates, Carrie hates um, cucumbers just like me. Ugh. But I'll do it. Who knows? Maybe now is now is the time after all these veggies that I've started to love that I asked my mom that I hated for years. And now I'm finding I like. Maybe cucumbers is the next big thing. Right, I'm going to shut my heat off because I really don't need that cooked much. I'm going to scoop the stuff out of my peppers. I hate the smell of them though, they stink. Ugh. You feel that with green beans, Lori? Have you tried like the, the ugly fries or the green fries? So good. I won't stick with a plan so I don't Yeah, so Sarah, that's one of the things I'm talking about in my, in my coaching class is planning. And you know, I, I wrote out my plan, but there is a solid chance that one day I'm going to wake up and go, you know what, I planned a shake or whatever for breakfast and I do not want it. That's okay. I'll pick a one of the breakfast from another day and I will have that instead. And then I'll make the shake on a different day. Just it's got to be a, a living document. You're planning. If you're if you're you can't like live or die by it. You have to use it as a guide so that if you're 
suddenly in a like, you know, I don't know what to cook today. Well, you do because you have seven days worth of choices that you've planned out and you know you have the ingredients for. Just do it that way. Just look at it and say, you know what? I really want that strawberry cheesecake shake today. So I'm going to do it. But I wrote on my meal plan like, put the chicken in the crock pot for the wipe your mouth barbecue. So I wouldn't forget. <laughs> I like I literally have to like spell it out. KJ needs a map. What's the matter, buddy? Do you smell food? You smell peppers? I find it hard to believe that you want to eat some peppers. Alright. So I'm gonna make up like I've said this before, when I stuff things, I like to mash them together because I think it makes it taste a million times better when stuff is mashed together and it scoops easier. So I'm gonna like mash up my eggs and my turkey. This is a crap ton of filling. I could eat the whole thing though because it's, it's egg whites and turkey sausage. Look at that size of that bowl. I could slap some hot sauce on this right now and go down. But if you mash it up into little chunks, it stuffs easier. And I just think it tastes better. All right, I'm gonna put some chive cream cheese, like maybe, that's probably a little bit less than a tablespoon, so I'm not putting a ton. I never made these. I just was gonna make stuffed peppers for lunch one day, and I thought, hey, if I can do stuffed peppers for lunch, why not do them for breakfast and air fry them? Why not? Sounds like a good deal. Okay, I want a little bit more cottage cheese. He's just a little, or I mean, uh, you could use cottage cheese now that I say that out loud. It's not cottage cheese, it's stuff, it's a uh, chive cream cheese. You should, Terry. I bet you'll like them. Um, the taste was underwhelming. <laughs> underwhelming is not the right word, it makes it sound like it wasn't good. The taste, it, it, it muted the taste of the peppers. It brought them way down. Yes, Carrie, I tried the same thing. My friend Kathy was like, have you tried the hydrated hummingbird? It is delicious. I'm going to bring you some. I said, nope, got all the ingredients here. I was going to make it anyway, so I made it. I dumped it. Oh, actually, I sent it home with her. It's horrible. Horrible. Cucumbers are... Mm -hmm. But I'll give it a go. I'll try it. I'll try it your way. Bonnie. It's her fault, but I'm going to try cucumbers. All right. I am going to, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to preheat my air fryer while I stuff these. I'm going to air fry these for, I think, like four minutes. I don't know if that's too long. I don't think so. Four minutes. Get that going while I stuff it. Hopefully, the one thing I found about these peppers is they're kind of shallow, <laughs> so they're a little bit hard to stuff. The tuna worked good because it stuck together well, but I'm just gonna stuff them in there. Do my best. Move this out of the way so you can see. I don't know. I think this is gonna be really good. I think this is gonna be really good. Dog is drooling. I can tell you that. So I've got a little bit of chive cream cheese, egg whites, sausage, and uh, egg whites, turkey sausage, chive cream cheese, and just a sprinkle of cheddar, just a little bit, not a ton. There's not, there's like maybe a teaspoon of cheddar in this whole mix, it didn't need much. Goes a long way. That's awesome that you guys like it, I'm glad you guys like that, that if you can get your veggies and your kids in a drink. Good on you. I can't. I can't get my veggies and me in that drink. I meant to buy a whole bunch of summer squash, yellow squash this week so I could throw it in every single smoothie I make now that I know how good it is in smoothies. <gasps> it was so good in that smoothie. I'm going to be putting spinach and a squash in every single smoothie I 
make now, but I forgot to put it on my grocery list, so look at this. Hey Siri, add the summer squash to my grocery list. You probably can't hear her, but she just did it. <coughs> Thank you. I'm liking that. I got a mini pod for the house because I could never keep my grocery list straight. I got people out there keeping grocery lists for me so kindly. And then I forget to say on camera and then I have two grocery lists and it's but I like my my pod, my mini home pod. I should tell it to turn on some reggae music and I can dance and cook at the same time. If you want some entertainment, I should dance and cook. <laughs> That would be entertainment, because I don't cook. I mean, I don't dance at all. I'd rather streak through naked, streak through Walmart naked than dance in front of people. All right. I'm so glad, Nancy. That's awesome. I have my garden going squat. Oh, I wish I had a garden. I'm in a big open field, and... I mean, I could have a garden, but that, look at that. That thing is preheated just as I stuffed my last pepper. Seriously? All right, hot sauce I'm going to put on um, when it's done. I think it's going to be good. I'm so excited. All right. I know, super high tech. Because I got the laptop, you get discounts if you get extra things, so, you know, I really did it to save money. Let's try this. Mm. See, I don't miss the whole egg. I'm not an egg white eater, like a pile of egg whites. Ooh. Not a big fan of just a pile of egg whites, but those are good. So, I have some avocados that, by the way, I have had in here for five days and they're still, they were soft when I bought them at the grocery store and they're still the same softness in that bag. I'm going to make some of my avocado cream because it takes whoo, no time and it is so stupid good. It's going to be really good on these peppers. All right, let me get my little ninja. I've moved to the side and now my my plug don't reach where you can... I guess it's alright. There we go. I guess you can still see it, can't you? That camera is the ball. Alright. You can use frozen avocado. That's what I do most of the time, but my store does not have it right now, which is really bugging me. So I'm going to do half an avocado. I, I'm probably not going to eat all that with this. I don't need a whole half an avocado with this um, Greek yogurt. Oh. Hey Siri, add Greek yogurt to my grocery list. <laughs> what? What? What do you mean you don't know who's speaking? I've been speaking to you the last two days. She just said, I can't help you with that until I know who's speaking. Um, you know who's speaking. You've been helping me for two days build my grocery list, and all of a sudden you don't recognize my voice? Wretched woman. <laughs> oh. Tracy, it is called a J5 creator. I can flip it up at the ceiling. Watch this. I, I think it'll let me change it mid-view. Watch this. Watch, well, let me not stick my hand in your face. Watch this. Let's see. I think it's this one. Watch this. I flip the camera up. And now you can see all around my house, my ceiling, me. How cool is that? You can see my whole house in this one view. Is that not the craziest? Now I gotta put it back. Now I got you all screwed up. You're all getting sick to your stomachs. Alright. Is that not the coolest thing you've ever seen? 
right? I mean, technology. All right. I know. She's talking back to me. And I'm not okay with it. Siri. Anyway, avocado, Greek yogurt, Creole. Where's my Creole? Did I put it back? I did. I actually put something away. Creole. I think I need a little more Greek yogurt than that. This, I'll have plenty of this left for whatever I decide to have for lunch. I just flung that all over my face and my shirt and my hair and my arms. See, I shouldn't have gone back in for more. That's what happens. on the side there. I want to whiz that up. <clears throat> you guys, I make this all the time and put it on all the things. Look at this. I'm telling you what. Oh, it needs a little bit extra. Seasoning. Oh my word, I'm telling you what, this stuff is insane, insane, insane. And how easy was that? Alright, my peppers are done. I think. Should I look at them? forgot my, my lemon juice, Melissa. Yeah. I always put lemon juice in there. I always put a little squirt and I forgot. I'm glad you said that because it does give it, it, it keeps it from going brown. I can eat it at lunch and it'll still be light and fluffy green. I'm glad, thank you for saying that. Pretty good. They look pretty good. <laughs> Jamie, really? <gasps> Lori, what? Why have you never had an avocado? Why have you never had an Why have you never had an avocado? Do they not have avocados where you live? Go to the store today and buy an avocado lorry. I'm puzzled by this. Alright, I'm gonna put a little dollop. A little dollop will do ya. And avocado cream on top of each one. Oh Lord have mercy. This looks good. Seriously? There's some Mexican restaurant selling this for breakfast right now. I can tell you. It's hot sauce on it. They're so delicious. Donna, I'm making stuffed breakfast peppers. With my favorite 
Tallulah that I found, and it's garlic. It's chili garlic. You need to watch because some of them are made with sugar, but this one is not. Charlie, Charlie Garlic, Charlie Gillick. The Charlie Gillick kind. The chili garlic kind. So do I, Lori. I have a bag of frozen diced onions in my freezer. That's what I use all the time. Look at that. Mini stuffed peppers stuffed with egg white, turkey sausage, chive cream cheese, cheddar, and avocado cream or crema if you want to be fancy. I could pick one up and shove it in my mouth, but I have a feeling it's hot. So I'm going to cut it and not be a fool and shove it in my mouth a thousand degrees. You know, with, I, don't, I can burn my tongue. I just don't want to burn my fingers. They got nice and like grill. I don't know if you can see. They got like grill marks on the bottom. Mm. They're very like nachos. Mm. I ain't got the patience to cut that. Mmm. Oh, you guys. They're good. They're good. They're great. That was easy. It's only 7.20. How long have I been streaming? 31 minutes and half the time I was running my face and those are made? How easy was that? I'm going to have a big old glass of Mama Dew with it because I'm becoming a bit of an addict to Mama Dew, which may or may not be a good thing. Have you tried the avocado cream, Amy? It's not super strong. It's very delicious. It's very good. What's ooh, Joyce? <laughs> she goes, ew. This? You think this is ew? Look at that. I don't think it's ew at all. Let me see if I can slide it all over my new laptop. Can you even see it? It's too bright. It looks like the light is like too bright. Get away, spotlight. Get away. There. It's a little bit better. Right? <gasps> Elizabeth, Mama Do is you take a big old jug of seltzer. I use the lime and she puts a quarter cup of lime juice. Oh, good Joyce. A quarter cup of lime juice, a quarter cup of apple cider vinegar, and 10 droppers of liquid stevia. The one I have is 10 droppers. Yours may be stronger. Mine's a very mild liquid stevia. And then I put a little tiny bit of natural food coloring and it makes me feel just like I'm drinking Mountain Dew. And I'm telling ya, I should have coffee or water. I did have some water already this morning. So I'm all good. But I <clears throat> am obsessed with this stuff. Absolutely, completely obsessed. Doesn't it look like soda? <laughs> You guys, I swear I'm drinking Mountain Dew. <laughs> I can't even. Like, it tastes exactly, it tastes like Diet Mountain Dew to me. Remember, Diet Mountain Dew was, to me was always mildly less sweet. <sighs> it's so good. I absolutely love it. Quarter cup of lime, liquid steep. Quarter cup of lime, quarter cup of apple cider vinegar, Elizabeth, and then liquid stevia. So what I do is pour some of the uh, seltzer out, put my ingredients in, and then pour some of my seltzer back in because you lose a little bit of space. So don't pour everything into the jug or you're going to overflow. <laughs> what do you look for when choosing an avocado? For me personally, I I get them slightly firm when they got just a little bit of give so that I know I can eat them in the next couple of days. However, with these bags, they last forever. I bought this, what's today? Monday. I bought this on, I think it was Wednesday. 
and it's still perfectly firm, just a tiny bit of give to it. If, if that little end there is gone, it's probably ready. Or if you just touch the little thing that's on the end of it at the grocery store and you just push it and if it pops right off, it's perfect. But you wanna go home and eat it that day or the next. And then, or store them in these bags if you have these bags. And then to store the other half of your avocado, if you're not having the whole one, which you would want to eat a whole avocado with one setting, it's too high carb wise to be a good ass and it's, too, it's a lot of fat. So this is what I do. You take a little glass container, plastic, it doesn't have to be glass. You take a little container, take, make sure your seed is out, leave the, shot, the skin on and put it face down in the water. and stick it in the fridge and it will stay like that for a week, at least a week. I've eaten it a whole week later and it's been perfectly fine and green, bright green, it stays perfect. All right, you guys, that is it. That's it. So um, tomorrow morning, I do plan on coming live. However, um, both my walking will be done, my treadmill devotions will be done quite early tomorrow morning, and my um, breakfast may or may not be done at all tomorrow morning. So I have a go live tomorrow morning that I'm working, and if it goes well, I'll have, I'll make breakfast live. If it, if it takes me longer than I anticipate, then I won't be live tomorrow. So if you're looking for me tomorrow morning and I'm not here, it's because I'm working at my real job, <laughs> my full-time job. I shouldn't say my real job because this has become a real job, a good job. So, all right, that's it. That's it, you guys. Stuffed, I guess you could call them nachos, but I'm calling them stuffed breakfast peppers with avocado cream. Delicious. The avocado cream is half an avocado, a few tablespoons of Greek yogurt, and some Creole seasoning, and a splash of lemon juice, and zing it up in a, in a food processor, or a whipper, or some kind, some kind like that. So, okay, you guys, I love you. I hope you have a blessed Monday. I hope that, let's see, what do I hope? I hope for lots of things for you, but I hope that you stay on plan. You have no reason to go off plan on a Monday at all at all if you many of us have meal prepped yesterday so eat the stuff in your fridge if you didn't meal prep it's okay there's plenty of easy things you can make